Colin Ward, the 14th of August 1924 to the 11th of February 2010, was a British anarchist writer. He has been called one of the greatest anarchist thinkers of the past half century and a pioneering social historian. Topic: Life. Ward was born in Wanstead, Essex. He became an anarchist while in the British Army during World War II. As a subscriber to War Commentary, the wartime equivalent of freedom, he was called in 1945 from Orkney, where he was serving, to give evidence at the London trial of the editors for publishing an article allegedly intended to seduce soldiers from their duty or allegiance. Ward robustly repudiated any seduction, but the three editors Philip Sansom, Vernon Richards and John Hewitson were convicted and sentenced to nine months imprisonment. He was an editor of the British anarchist newspaper Freedom from 1947 to 1960, and the founder and editor of the monthly anarchist journal Anarchy from 1961 to 1970. From 1952 to 1961, Ward worked as an architect. In 1971, he became the education officer for the Town and Country Planning Association. He published widely on education, architecture and town planning. His most influential book was The Child in the City, 1978, about children's street culture. From 1995 to 6, Ward was Centennial Professor of Housing and Social Policy at the London School of Economics. In 2001, Ward was made an Honorary Doctor of Philosophy at Anglia Ruskin University. Topic: <laughs> Thought. Topic: <laughs> Anarchism. Ward's philosophy aimed at removing authoritarian forms of social organization and replacing them with self-managed, non-hierarchical forms. This is based upon the principle that, as Ward put it, "...in small face-to-face -face groups, the bureaucratizing and hierarchical tendencies inherent in organizations have least opportunity to develop." He particularly admired the Swiss system of direct democracy and cantons whereby each canton is run by its members who have control on the laws placed upon them, although he disapproved of many the policies this system enacted. I believe that the social ideas of anarchism, autonomous groups, spontaneous order, workers' control, the federative principle, add up to a coherent theory of social organization which is a valid and realistic alternative to the authoritarian, hierarchical and institutional social philosophy which we see in application all around us. Man will be compelled, Kropotkin declared, to find new forms of organization for the social functions which the state fulfills through the bureaucracy and he insisted that as long as this is not done nothing will be done. I think we have discovered what these new forms of organization should be. We have now to make the opportunities for putting them into practice. <laughs> Urban issues. Most of Ward's works deal with the issue of rural housing and the problems of overpopulation and planning regulations in Britain to which he proposed anarchistic solutions. He was a keen admirer of architect Walter Siegel who set up a «build-it-yourself» system in Lewisham meaning that land that was too small or difficult to build on conventionally was given to people who with Seagal's help would build their own homes. Ward was very keen on the idea of build it yourself having said in response to the proposition of removing all planning laws, I don't believe in just letting it rip, the rich get away with murder when that happens. But I do want the planning system to be flexible enough to give homeless people a chance. In his book Cotters and Squatters, Ward described the historical development of informal customs to appropriate land for housing which frequently grew up in opposition to legally constituted systems of land ownership. Ward described folkways in many cultures which parallel the Welsh tradition of the Thai Unos or One Night House erected on common land. Ward included a passage from one of his anarchist forebears, Peter Kropotkin, who said of the empty and overgrown landscape of Surrey and Sussex at the end of the 19th century, in every direction I see abandoned cottages and orchards going to ruin, a whole population has disappeared. Ward himself went on to observe, precisely a century after this account was written, the fields were empty again. Fifty years of subsidies had made the owners of arable land millionaires through mechanized cultivation and, with a crisis of overproduction, the European community was rewarding them for growing no crops on part of their land. However, opportunities for the homeless poor were fewer than ever in history. 
The grown-up children of local families can't get on the housing ladder. Ward's solution was that there should be some place in every parish where it's possible for people to build their own homes, and they should be allowed to do it a bit at a time, starting in a simple way and improving the structure as they go along. The idea that a house should be completed in one go before you can get planning permission and a mortgage is ridiculous. Look at the houses in this village. Many of them have developed their character over centuries, a bit of medieval at the back, with Tudor and Georgian add-ons. Topic. Education Colin Ward in his main theoretical publication Anarchy in Action 1973 in a chapter called, Schools No Longer, discusses the genealogy of education and schooling, in particular examining the writings of Everett Reimer and Ivan Illich, and the beliefs of anarchist educator Paul Goodman. Many of Colin's writings in the 1970s, in particular Streetwork, The Exploding School 1973, with Anthony Fison, focused on learning practices and spaces outside of the school building. In introducing Streetwork, Ward writes, this is a book about ideas, ideas of the environment as the educational resource, ideas of the enquiring school, the school without walls, in the same year, Ward contributed to Education Without Schools edited by Peter Buckman discussing the role of the state. He argued that one significant role of the state in the national education systems of the world is to perpetuate social and economic injustice. In The Child in the City 1978 and later The Child in the Country 1988, Ward examined the everyday spaces of young people's lives and how they can negotiate and re-articulate the various environments they inhabit. In his earlier text, the more famous of the two, Colin Ward explores the creativity and uniqueness of children and how they cultivate the art of making the city work. He argued that through play, appropriation and imagination, children can counter adult-based intentions and interpretations of the built environment. His later text, The Child in the Country, inspired a number of social scientists, notably geographer Chris Philo to call for more attention to be paid to young people as a hidden and marginalized group in society. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Autonomy, Solidarity, Possibility, The Colin Ward Reader edited by Damien F. White and Chris Wilbert 2011, Anarchism, A Very Short Introduction 2004, Cotters and Squatters, The Hidden History of Housing 2004, Talking Anarchy with David Goodway 2003, Sociable Cities, The Legacy of Ebenezer Howard with Peter Hall 1999, Reflected in Water, A Crisis of Social Responsibility 1997, Havens and Springboards, The Foyer Movement in Context 1997, Stamps, Designs for Anarchist Postage Stamps illustrated by Clifford Harper 1997, Talking to Architects 1996, New Town, Hometown 1993, Freedom to Go, After the Motor Age 1991, Influences, Voices of Creative Descent 1991, Talking Houses, Ten Lectures 1990, Undermining the Central Line with Ruth Rendell 1989, Welcome, Thinner City, Urban Survival in the 1990s 1989, The Allotment, Its Landscape and Culture with David Crouch 1988, The Child in the Country 1988, A Decade Decade of Anarchy 1961 to 1970 1987 Chartres The Making of a Miracle 1986 Good Night Campers The History of the British Holiday Camp with Dennis Hardy 1986 When We Build Again Let's Have Housing That Works 1985 Arcadia for All The Legacy of a Makeshift Landscape with Dennis Hardy 1984 The Child in the City 1978 Housing An Anarchist Approach 1976 British School Buildings Designs and Appraisals 1964 to 74 1976 Tenants Take Over 1974 Utopia 1974 Vandalism Ed 1974 Anarchy in Action 1973 Streetwork The Exploding School with Anthony Fison 1973 Work 1972 Topic Critical Work on Colin Ward Wilbert Chris and Damian F White Autonomy, Solidarity, Possibility, The Colin Ward Reader. AK Press, 2011. Levy, Carl. Colin Ward, Life, Times and Thought. Lawrence and Wishart, 2013. 
Remembering Colin Ward, Five Leaves Press, 2011. Richer Futures. Fashioning a New Politics. Earth Scan, 1999. Goodway, David. Anarchist Seeds Beneath the Snow, Left Libertarian Thought and British Writers from William Morris to Colin Ward. PM Press, 2012. Honeywell, Carissa. A British Anarchist Tradition, Herbert Reed, Alex Comfort and Colin Ward. A&C Black, 2011. Levy, Carl. Introduction, Colin Ward, 1924-2010, Anarchist Studies 19.2, 2011, 7-16. Goodway, David. Colin Ward and the New Left, Anarchist Studies 19.2, 2011, 42 56. White, Stewart. Social Anarchism, Lifestyle Anarchism, and the Anarchism of Colin Ward, Anarchist Studies 19.2, 2011, 92 104. White, Stewart. Making Anarchism Respectable? The Social Philosophy of Colin Ward, Journal of Political Ideologies, 12 1, 2007, 11 28, doi, 10.1080, 13 quadrillion 569 trillion 310 billion 601 million 95580. Topic See also Anarchism in England Topic References Topic Further reading Topic External links Colin Ward Archive at the Anarchist Library Colin Ward, Anarchism as a Theory of Organization 1960. Colin Ward, Harmony Through Complexity 1973, Daily Telegraph Obituary, 29 March 2010 Guardian Obituary, of February 2010 The Good Life of a Gentle Anarchist, Boyd Tonkin, The Independent, 19 February 2010 Colin Ward, Pioneer of Mutualism Obituary at Outrospection. Org Autonomy, Solidarity, Possibility, The Colin Ward Reader Center for a Stateless Society on Ward Ward and Five Leaves Publishers Ward and the Essex Plotlanders, Guardian, 7 March 2010 Inveterate Anarchist with a Plan to Put Roofs Over the Rural Poor, Guardian, 10 July 2002 Colin Ward Interview by David Goodway A Friendly Right-Wing View of Colin Ward, by the Editor of Reason, the Magazine of Free Minds and Free Markets Anarchy in the UK it could be the best government we've had, Boyd Tonkin, The Independent, 3 April 2015.